everybody! Today I want to dedicate this video to a condition that's very common in Pomeranians and in other double-coated breeds like Malmutes, Chow Chows, and Spitzes. It's called Alopecia X, and it's marked by loss of hair or fur, um, and also accompanied by something called hyperpigmentation or darkening or graying of the dog's skin. Right now, there's no known cure for alopecia X. And the reason I bring it up is because on Tuesday of this week, Nimbus's test results showed that he was positive for it. It's something that I've feared for a while now. We're going on a year of me worrying that this was what was wrong with his, um, with his hair growth. And so I wanted to share a video about sort of my progression and how we diagnosed it. Um, and then share some of our plans for next steps. This is just part one in a video. Nim, don't bite, be nice. This is just part one in a video. Um, in part two, we're gonna talk about some treatments and possible therapies. So don't lose hope, but today I just wanna talk about how to diagnose alopecia X in your dog. The first symptom is hair loss, usually around the tail. Next, you'll notice that the texture of the hair changes to become dry and stringy. And third, you'll find that the skin darkens and becomes a flaky gray color. Diagnosis usually starts with a visual evaluation, seeing hair loss, seeing hyperpigmentation, and seeing dry skin. However, I also recommend that you take your dog for a skin biopsy, as this test will be conclusive in determining whether or not he or she has alopecia X. Starting with a skin biopsy will also help you rule out other conditions that can cause hair loss, like hypothyroidism, Cushing's disease, hormonal issues, and allergies. 